In this video, we will be learning how to convert between mixed numbers and improper fractions. Remember, a mixed number is a whole number with a fraction, and an improper fraction is when the numerator has more than the denominator. So I thought we would go back to our example of the berries and the hockey players. So here we learned that the whole was when we had a berry basket with 10 out of the 10 strawberries in that basket. And then we talked about how if you had one berry, that would be one tenth of the whole. Then we started talking about improper fractions and mixed numbers. So our improper fraction was when we went to the bigger amount of berries. So when we thought about how many berries were in a big berry bush, we said there were 52 berries. So to write our improper fraction, we said there are 52 berries total but to make a group or to make a whole, we would have to have 10. So in an improper fraction, the total amount of berries we had became the numerator, and the denominator was how many berries we need to make a whole, which is 10. So in our improper fraction, you can see the numerator is more than the denominator. So in order to get a mixed number now from that, we're just going to basically use division, or we're gonna think about how many holes would fit into the 52 berries we have in the bush. So how many tens fit into 52 would be five tens. And when we do five times 10, we get 50, which means there's gonna be two berries left. So our mixed number is five baskets of berries with two left out of 10, meaning that we have two berries left and if we could get eight more, we would make a whole nother, but we only have two out of the 10 in order to make a whole. Very similar to the hockey example where we talked about the whole being the five out of five players out on the ice at one time from a team. And if we looked at one player, that would be one fifth of the line. But our whole again is the line that goes out the five people on the ice. So to make our improper fraction, we thought about how many total players do we have on the team? We have 26 total players on the team. Our denominator, again, is how many people do we need to make a line or to make a whole? We need five. And it's an improper fraction, again, because the numerator has more than the denominator. So in order to make this into a mixed number, we can divide or we can think about how many holes can we take out of 26? So how many lines can we make? out of 26 players. Five goes into 26 five times, and there's gonna be one player left out of five. So there's going to be one player. If we could get four more players, we'd have another hole, but we only have one player out of five, so we can't make a whole nother line. We have one-fifth of a line. All right, I'm gonna teach you a trick now that's gonna quickly allow you to switch from a mixed number to an improper fraction. So if we have the mixed number seven and two thirds, we're going to quickly turn that into an improper fraction. So what this mixed number is telling us is that we have seven holes and then we have two out of the three holes. So we're gonna take those holes, we're gonna start in the denominator, take what a hole is, and we're gonna multiply it by how many holes we have. So we're gonna take the whole three out of three, multiply it by how many holes we have, which is seven. Three times seven is 21. Then we're gonna add in the two on top or the extra two we have. So three times seven was 21. 21 plus two is 23. And we're gonna keep the denominator the same. So we're gonna go back down into the denominator and keep that the same. Because when we're working with fractions, the denominator always tells us the whole. Even if we're using a mixed number, an improper fraction, a regular fraction, the denominator is always telling us the whole, so it never changes. Let's do another problem, 10 and 1 6. So like always with the triangle, we're gonna start in the denominator and we're gonna go around making a triangle. So starting with the six, we're gonna multiply by the 10. So notice we're going to multiply first. Six times 10 is 60. Then we're gonna add in the numerator. So six times 10 is 60, 60 plus one is 61. And we're gonna come back down into the denominator and it's going to stay the same. So we've made a full triangle and we've quickly changed our mixed number into an improper fraction. Let's do one more. If I have three holes and four fifths of another hole, 
How can I quickly turn this into an improper fraction? Again, I'm going to start in my denominator. I'm going to say 5 times 3, or the whole, how many are in a hole, times how many holes we have. 5 times 3 is 15. Add in the 4 up top. 15 times, 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 4 is 19. And we're going to come back down to our denominator. Our denominator always stays the same. So you can see by using the triangle trick, I've quickly changed these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So this slide is just kind of to remind you guys that fractions and division are related. So what I have over here is a fraction two-thirds, and he's saying, hey, cousin division, and over here is cousin division, two divided by three. He says, what's going on, cousin fraction? So these guys are related because two-thirds is the same thing as doing 2 divided by 3. And the reason why I bring this up is because it's very important for the next thing we're going to learn, which is going quickly from an improper fraction to a mixed number. So here I have 7 over 3. 3 means it takes 3 to make a whole. So what we're going to do is we're going to think again like our division that this is just another division problem. So we're going to take our numerator 7 and we're going to divide it by our denominator, which is 3. And we're going to think how many groups of 3 can we take out of 7. We can take out 2 groups and we're going to have a remainder of 1. So to turn this into a mixed number, we're going to take our total groups, how many groups we could take out of 7, and that's going to become our big number. Our, denom our remainder, excuse me, is 1. That's going to become our new numerator in our fraction. And like we talked about in all the other things we've learned today, the denominator is always going to stay the same. So we've quickly gone from 7 thirds into 2 and 1 third. Let's do another one. Let's say we have 28 players on a team and 5 players can fit on a line. So here's our improper fraction. We're going to turn this into a simple division problem. 28 divided by 5. So 5 goes into 28. We can take 5 groups out of 28 5 times. That's going to be 25. So there's still going to be a remainder of 3 left. So let's turn this division problem and division answer into a mixed number. So we're going to take how many groups we could take out and make that our big number. Our remainder is going to be our new numerator. And our denominator is always going to stay the same. So we've quickly gone from an improper fraction to a mixed number.